let us be clear, we're not taking care away or money away from private veterinarians, people who are established. This is about people who wouldn't necessarily be able to seek the best quality veterinary care. UNAM's Vice Chancellor Kenneth Matengu says, Veterinary medicine is not only one of the most challenging programs to offer at tertiary level, but also one of the most expensive. But it is an expense that we must spend on. Veterinary medicine involves a wide range of animal species, from production animals through wildlife and companion animals and to cater for the variety of these species, each with completely different requirements. The small animal academic hospital will also provide practical training for students studying veterinary medicine. Professionally trained and competent veterinary officials will effectively contribute to safeguarding the beef and tourism industries, food security and animal welfare in our country and internationally. As part of these studies, it is crucial for students to be engaged in clinical studies. The veterinary medicine students will train in surgical, clinical skills and diagnostic imaging using dogs under the supervision of their lecturers. At the moment, only two phases out of six are complete. UNAM's Chancellor Nangolombumba says the establishment of the Small Animal Academic Hospital is a clear indication that the medical school is well on its way to become one of the centers of excellence in SADC and Africa. I would like to encourage and call upon students from SADC and other parts of the world to apply and study veterinary science at UNAM. The success of the plans to offer additional professional programs in addition to the veterinary degree will only be achieved if all phases of this facility are properly coordinated, completed and well operationally. So far, UNAM's medical school has graduated 51 vets who are either employed or self-employed in Namibia, Botswana and South Africa.